everybody. Welcome to another edition of RV Tips and Trips. Uh, today is Monday, March 18, and yesterday uh, we uh, left uh, Deming, New Mexico, and we drove up I-25 to uh, um, some BLM land uh, up here in Lemitar, New Mexico, which is just north of Socorro, New Mexico. Uh, and uh, what a gosh, what a beautiful, beautiful day uh, today is. Uh, so I found this spot uh, on uh, freecampsites.net and I'll post GPS uh, information in the uh, description and I'll also put up a graphic uh, of the, uh, or a screenshot of the uh, freecampsites.net uh, so it's uh, free. You can stay up to 14 days here. I-25 is right out over there. And we got lots and lots of open space to camp in. I took one of the first spots coming straight in. I didn't want to mess with it too much. We were only planning on staying the one night. So uh, the one thing I want to say about uh, the... Uh, freecampsites.net, it gives you directions uh, if you're heading south on I-25 to get off at exit 163 and then head south on uh, Frontage Road. And the only problem with that is that it forces you to go through this bridge and I'll get a, a good shot of that, uh, which is a, a one-lane tunnel that goes under I-25 road that's the road we came up to and then we turn in here you make a left into the BLM property San Lorenzo Canyon it says but uh, there's that bridge I said the height is no problem 14-4 but look how narrow that that is that tunnel uh, a little scary I don't think uh, I'd want to go through it so getting off at exit 162 is your better choice way better if you get off at 163 and then head south on the other frontage road on the other side, uh, you might be uh, a little leery. So, but 162, we're coming up from the south anyway, heading north. So that was, uh, we actually stopped for gas and then I found this place, so. Now the other thing I wanna say, this is hard packed sand on the roads. And like I said, we didn't venture Anywhere you can see a Class C out that way. Uh, we, I just saw the spot and I just took it. And so I drove up in here. But you also got to watch this, this horse dung uh, around here. People uh, bring their horses here and go horseback riding through here. So you'll see horse trailers and that come in here. There's... Uh, a lot of soft sand so we came in and we said oh look it's like a turnaround in here you know like a pull through so we uh, drove in and when we got over here we got into some really soft sand here as you can see and that doesn't look too bad there but here, I mean, really, really soft. And we kind of sunk in. Uh, so we, uh, yeah. So the, uh, the truck sunk into the uh, soft sand here. And good thing my truck is four wheel drive. So we were able to, uh, get going there and when we were in two-wheel drive all of a sudden it, we sank in and the tires were spinning and couldn't go anywhere so definitely four-wheel drive saved the day ah, so we're going to continue going north uh, i think the next stop uh will be we'll drive a couple hours and maybe hit las vegas nevada or yeah las vegas nevada uh las vegas let me turn this around uh new mexico Come on, Thomas. <laughs> He's curious. So, next stop will be Las Vegas, New Mexico. 
and uh, so that's only a couple hours away and then this way we'll be within four four or five hours of hitting Colorado Springs uh, which is our ultimate destination for this part of the for our trip so uh, gosh it's beautiful I, I don't look forward to uh, hitting the cold weather it's supposed to be mild in Colorado this week so uh, we'll see meanwhile when we uh, went to Deming we uh, when we left Arizona we traveled I-10 towards uh, uh, New Mexico I-10 and then up I-25 we saw these signs for these billboards for the thing and it, every so many miles you saw another billboard the thing so we stopped at it it's a little tourist trap on I-10 in Arizona if you want to check it out um, I do I do uh, have a little bit of video that I recorded on it you can take a look at it it's a museum um, you pay uh, five dollars to go in and uh, it's like what if aliens were here it's that's the whole theme of the thing and the, at the end of the museum thing there's a uh, uh, looks like a like a mummy they said they dug it up out of the desert uh, <laughs> way back in the day uh, it's entertaining for the kids if you've got kids make the stop let them see it uh, there's a one dollar senior discount uh, and also a one dollar military discount so um, Otherwise, they got a Dairy Queen and stuff there too, so it's a good little to stop if you just want to take a break, have an ice cream, or eat. Uh, so, all right, so it's going to be onward towards Colorado. Catch you later. Bye. After seeing 200 billboards, we're going to go in and see what it's all about. So this is quite a gift shop, boy. It is huge. Okay. How much is it? Whoa! 150 bucks. Yeah, don't touch anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of cool, but fifty-two dollars a little pricey. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Hmm. A definite tourist trap. So somebody lied online and said it was a dollar. You get here, it's five dollars a head. Huh.
Thomas says, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.